about to leave. Already packing. Come with me. I'm not really asking. We'll get away to a place where we don't know. About to see the world in action. What we can be. Life with no distractions. We'll get away. This is what we waited for. Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. Check out what's new on a 2022 or 27. Now this is pretty cool. Hey, answer me this real quick. Does this seem deeper to you? No. Really? Okay. Mm -mm. So what's new on a 2022? So let's see. Transom, walk around with the hoses you don't chip over. Ticker, this is with the dinghy lift, which is an option. We got our boat in 2020, the dinghy lift had just come out. It actually uses a little mechanical advantage to lift it up so that it sits horizontal on top of the, the motor. And then they come standard with the decking. It's not Raptor decking, it's a Ranger's own, but it looks really good. It's pretty similar to Raptor decking. It feels really good on the feet. A little bench seat, there's a cushion that goes there too to make a seat for the cockpit. <clears throat> so this was interesting, on some of the older models, um, ours included, we actually have a footrest right here instead of the seat. But the uh, cave is much higher, so the footrest is actually kind of low, so replacing it with a seat is actually an option that a lot of people like. A little bit more seating in the cockpit. And without the seat, obviously, you can still use it as a as a step right here to get in and out of the boat. <clears throat> I'm inside the cabin. Not much different in here. The uh, electrical panel and all that is the same. in under the helm and it's a there's a new fusion radio and this is a new gadget this is a high water bilge alarm for the center cockpit bilge there's two bilges two bilge pumps down there if the float switches on both of them were to fail and it filled up with water that alarm would go off and it's supposed to be pretty obnoxious <clears throat> and other than that uh, the switches a um, little bit better wording and stuff on them as illuminates. And then we come down into here's the closet, same as before. We've got the Keurig machine mounted in a different spot. And that might actually be a custom. This boat's actually sold. So there's a handful of customer modifications on this. And then we go into, head is the same. There's no uh, gauge for the uh, sand tank being full. So. There's an access port underneath that you can look at. There's behind the helm.
this is really hard to see, but if you take the step open and you come down here, a little bit of backlight, there's a hole up there that you would look through to get what your sand tank level is. I think the idea behind it would be take your cell phone under there and take a photograph of it, and then you'd uh, come back up and look. Down here at the Ranger Tugboat R27, 2022, really popular boat. My favorite. Look a view of the dinghy lift. Actually, two things: the dinghy lift and that's the new transom. So, so they go in and put the hose underneath, so you don't trip on them as you walk back and forth. Of course, the ensign kind of gets in the way, but. Kind of rigged up to pull the thingy lift up, make it all easy. Also got retractable cleats too. That's for tying your dinghy up. And the bar is a little bit different on the on the transom. Really like not having those hoses to trip over. That's a nice feature. Retractable cleat on the port side. That's nice too, a place to, for the dinghy motor. setup you can use. Look in the window. <laughs> Some pretty small crab in the oh, pot right there. I didn't know a shrimp came on skewers. Yeah, and I'd like to catch my shrimp when it came on skewers. That'd be kind of cool. And the high water bilge alarm. Down here is center cockpit. So they put the high water bilge alarm right there, which means both your forward and aft bilge pumps would have to be underwater by at least an inch before that thing would alert. And if both those pumps were underwater by that much, you definitely would want that alert. Doesn't seem to be a whole lot of new differences. High water bilge alarm, different stereo. Obviously, you got the seat. It seems to be all the uh, main differences. like the 29 it's the same layout as the 27 with the window and stuff on the starboard side but it's got a 10-foot beam a lot more seating in the cockpit we got these two yahoos in here oh channel sir oh yeah 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 so all good yeah so you see anything you have to show you like cut water 28.8 pretty cool Actually, yeah, that, that is really a, that's that, and actually that 248 cut water is yeah, pretty interesting. Yeah, yeah. That's really that's, sweet too for a new debut. Yeah. 
Yeah. And they're, uh, I was talking to Rain, uh, uh, I was talking about you, too, Andrew, and, and uh, about solar, and they're putting the, uh, the good controller on the, uh, yeah. The MPPD controllers yeah, on, uh, yeah. on this, and they went to the good uh, um, panel that can have shadow on it without destroying mm -hmm. its efficiency. So, uh, yeah, so that's sweet. Yeah, sweet. yeah. solar you is taught them well. Yeah, yeah, solar is fantastic. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, so, yeah, so anything else to show? I can't see the show when I'm working it. So <laughs> I, I really can't. So I just wonder if there's anything like, ooh, that's a cool option. So the 27. And yours really doesn't have one. I never believe her, but you're really. That's no, in fact, I was. It was interesting because where they put it in the cockpit, there's two bilge pumps, one forward, one aft. Yeah. And it's actually above. So in order for that high water bilge alarm to go off, um, both bilge pumps would be under about two inches of water. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if if I had that much water in my bilge, I'd want it wired to the horn of the boat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what is really amazing about that? Because every boat I get on, and my checklist includes the fact, it's one of the first things on my checklist, check the, the bilge alarm, and almost every one I get on, it's in the off position. So they and, and you want it in the arm position all the time. The only right. reason you have an off position is if you have high water, and you know you jump it. overboard because the noise is so loud, right. so you might be able to turn the noise out yeah, like while that. you're dealing with the issue. That's yeah. right. Other than that, it, it, they really shouldn't even have an off position. You yeah. a hammer to it if it, you want to turn off. But it, almost every boat I get on, it's been bumped into the middle or off position. So, you want so do all the boats of this year have them? Yeah. I, I thought the 27 had them, so no. obviously... It's, it's new for the 27. Position. Yeah, so I would say yes. Does this one have it? Oh yeah, yeah, oh, right here. But yeah. you don't it's have a simple it. thing. It's, but it, you don't have yeah, I do. Yeah. Oh, you do. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. So yeah, they. Yeah. I thought all of them had them since the beginning of time, and uh, yeah, until you said you didn't have one. Yeah. Actually, right. it was until you confirmed what she yeah. said that I, I was like, really? Well, there's two bilge pumps there, and they and they both have float switches, so it's possible for the float switch to fail. But the pump is still work, so if the alarm went off, you could turn the bilge pumps on, and they, and they might work. Yeah, no, right. exactly. That, that's exactly yeah. what I mean. If I ever heard that alarm, maybe it's a false alarm. I don't know. First thing I do is turn on both bilge pumps, then I go back there and Right. And something I uh, heard recommended uh, that's not a bad idea is to uh, have a bilge pump in a bucket. And what you do is just take a little bucket, drill a bunch of holes in it, bilge pump, set of leads with clips on them so you can clip onto your battery so if they're plugged they're not working you just take this bucket the wires all in there hook it up to your battery set it down in the water and let it pump oh interesting but yeah I, I think it's a it's a good idea so. yeah oh yeah yeah I know. you could and, and you're dealing with deep water there yeah. Yeah. Um, and, yeah so 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 yeah so any gadgets or anything that you saw and you're like, eh, yeah, 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 it's really cool. Um, no, not specifically. So you're looking at Hobies, they've got some new stuff out. Oh, the, when the, I was the, going up the, the inflatable, stairs, the inflatable I saw Hobies inflatable with sailboat. You know, I was just going up some yeah. stairs and I was like, hey, that looks like that would be fun. Cool. You got any questions? Sir? Quick question, yeah. what's the cruising speed on this? This, um, you can cruise at 18 knots continuously. Um, I have one, I cruise, cruise generally at about 10 knots, um, but uh, it will go 23 knots, but you can't run it. Yeah, no, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah the speedboat's right over there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah.